Don't worry if your looks maxing routine, res tutorials, and self-improvement regimens haven't paid off yet. If you're not funny, intelligent, or creative, luckily for you, consuming more can override it all. Our clothes can speak for us. This fit says I've never been outdoors, and this one says I'm scared of women. But in all seriousness, it's incredibly interesting how our clothing is a reflection of us, and how this idea has specifically shaped recent styles and trends. The popularity in what your sneakers or outfit says about you shows how much people really care about how their style is perceived. There's many trending aesthetics and cores that all come with different notions and stereotypes. Social media has helped popularize this item shop of skins, which has allowed those interested in fashion the ability to choose their perceived personalities, with the only barrier being their budget. In my case, and I assume a good portion of you watching who are also interested in fashion, sneakers were your fashion gateway drug. The popular athletes or cool kids always seem to have the best sneakers growing up. That being said, I also remember kids who maybe weren't super popular or considered cool coming to school with the new Christmas LeBrons or Aunt Pearl KDs and all of a sudden receiving attention. The concept of consuming fashion to get attention has never been more possible than during the past Hypebeast era. More than anything, the Hypebeast era valued money, hype brand names, and exclusivity as it exposed how much attention you could buy from wearing a Bape Shark hoodie and Adidas NMDs. Reflecting on past fashion content shows just how pay to win this era of fashion was, where anyone could safely rely on the hype clothing rather than their own personality. Looking at today's popular style trends, money is still clearly a significant factor, yet it's not nearly enough to just have expensive pieces to be considered fashionable. The distaste in current trends is not only a reaction of trends being pushed down our throat, but also a reaction to those who have used trends to buy status. It's now too easy to buy the latest trend or most exclusive recent sneaker release, and with this we've seen the value of personal style increase despite the algorithms favoring current trends. Whether it's sneakerheads meeting up to sniff shoes, gorpcore enthusiasts scared to get their jackets dirty, or unsound MF's fascination with concrete, every fashion group comes with their little quirky traits. As much as they may be memed about, these groups don't receive nearly as much backlash as the cookie cutter algorithm fits following the fit pick, headless fit pick, food pick, and close up shot of your footwear blueprint. This is because there isn't a sense of genuineness or true passion as the personality is removed from these posts. Using clothing to replace your personality is appealing as it becomes an act of defiance. You're able to distance yourself since you see clothing differently compared to the normal person. As you get more and more invested in clothing as a form of self-expression, it becomes something powerful about yourself that can be much easier to change in comparison to your current body, mindset, or living situation. There's a phenomenal chance this comes from being chronically online, but it seems many people are wrapped up in building their personality around their clothes. Fashion relies as a main interest, and then you build your taste and hobbies around the clothes to support your crafted aesthetic. It's pushed online through the importance of aesthetics, where it's best to follow your interests aligned to build upon one another. Since you benefit on social media from mastering one aesthetic for followers to identify and get behind, the idea of constantly experimenting outside of a clear, recognizable lane of being the streetwear guy or vintage guy isn't as encouraged. Being a poser has always been a threat when it comes to fashion and the concern of your style not being genuine to who you are. The most widely known example being non-skaters wearing skate clothes or the more recent concern of non-hikers wearing Arcteryx to walk around the city. I've never thought you needed to be able to jump the Great Wall in order to wear Supreme, Palace, and Thrasher, but finding an interest in your clothing is clearly beneficial compared to blindly buying whatever is trending. There seems to be this idea that to have personal style, your outfits avoid whatever is trending. When you base your style on what you've been interested in for years and suddenly a staple of your style becomes trendy, it doesn't make your style any less personal. It doesn't matter how many videos I see saying Jordan 1s and Dunks are dead, lame, and PC shoes, I'm still going to look at them the same because I was genuinely invested in them before owning them. The internet has made it extremely easy to replicate having good taste with everything. Social media and following your favorite influencers has produced blueprints to replicate good taste or commonly whatever is currently trending. The appeal to copying taste is understandable as it becomes easier to break your comfort zones when you can lean on your decisions coming from someone else. 
but ultimately by following these blueprints it reduces its self-expression or exploration of building your personal style composed of your own taste. This goal of personal style that's valued so high up on this personal style pedestal may not even be as personal as you'd like to think. Even if you're not walking around in Adidas Sambas and head to toe Stussy gear, we're all byproducts to the algorithms feeding us content. Even if we dropped the phones and deleted our social media accounts, our decisions are still based on our hardwiring to enjoy what we've been told to. There seems to be this common egotistical motivator in wanting to dress and be different from others, which only causes us to increasingly value the opinion of others that we're trying so hard to differentiate ourselves from. Fashion creators, including myself, can continuously say wear whatever you want, yet hypocritically I know, I care, as well as others whether will be accepted by those of you watching. The idea of crafting a personal style that others will want to replicate is constantly reinforced by watching fashion content. Instead of stressing over this, I've taken a step back to really analyze what I enjoy about my style, what I dislike, and why. If my answers aren't based on seeking the approval of others, then I'm continuing to pursue them and recommend thinking about this for yourself. Share your thoughts below, and I hope to see you next time. Peace.